Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having? Well, if you're a person of faith, if you're someone who comes from Christendom, if you're someone who comes from any type of Wicca or Catholic background, then you sort of know that God presents us with gifts when we've submitted our lives to Him. There are about eight clairvoyances or clair audiences or clairs that we like to talk about, and I may kind of muddle around in them today, but I'm going to give you a slide that makes sense to you about it in a little while. What I want to talk about to you today is clairvoyance because most people get pictures in their mind. But how do you know that the pictures that God gifts you in your mind or that are presented to you in your mind come from the Holy Spirit? That's the challenge of a satanic force. A satanic force can give you information that is sometimes accurate and sometimes wrong. Sometimes accurate means that you're sometimes accurate with what you've got. Sometimes inaccurate means that you're regularly inaccurate with what you've received. But our intellect can often override our, well, dialect with the Lord. So what I'm going to talk about in brief today is how to recognize what's right and what's wrong. There are some things you can do without any type of tool like I use to check yourself and what you're feeling and what you're thinking. It's called a body test. And that body test allows you to check whether or not what you're going to choose to wear is correct or whether it's wrong. And you pretty much just let your angels push you forward or back. If the item is correct for you, the angels will push you forward. If the item is wrong for you, they will push you backwards. And that tells you what's what and who's who. If you're not sure whether you're in love with someone or not, that's a great way to do it. If you're not sure whether your last name is correct for you or not in terms of an upcoming marriage, it's an easy way to check for you. God will really shove you hard if you don't start listening to Him. Because what God likes is people to submit to the Lord.